boy, I wish I could get a picture of that. Oh, hey, it's uh, Kip K back with another weekend project for Make Magazine. In our continuing series of projects from Make Volume 16, the Spy Tech issue, we're going to turn your ordinary cell phone camera into a tool of espionage that will allow you to capture those long distance secret activities. Nowadays, most cell phones have built-in cameras, but the optics and the zoom on them leaves a lot to be desired, so we're going to improve on that. You're also going to need a belt clip for your cell phone that allows the cell phone camera to be visible when the phone is open. The original project calls for a monoscope or monocular, but I could not find one for the life of me, so I'm using a small pair of regular old binoculars. And you'll also need a metal conduit holder. The one I picked up was a one-incher. Now you're going to need something to hold our portable spy scope, and I'm using two of the small, gripped-on, bendable, portable tripods. Now the first step is to attach the conduit holder to one of the tripods, and these conduit holders are pretty handy because they have a hole right in the bottom, and all you need is one nut to attach it to the tripod. The one-inch conduit holder I picked up was a little large, and the three-quarter inch one that was at the store was too small for my binoculars, so I used some cloth strapping and uh, wrapped it around the eyepiece, which gave it some thickness. Then I attached the conduit holder to the eyepiece, and one half of our portable spy scope is finished. Now it's time to take the belt clip out to the shop and secure it in a vise, and we're going to drill a hole that's uh, large enough to fit the bolt for our second tripod mount. Then secure the second tripod to our belt clip using a nut. Now it's time to open up the phone, fire up the camera, and then it's just a matter of carefully aligning the binocular to the lens on the cell phone. The end result looks kind of freaky, so now it's time to see what kind of pictures it takes. Take a look at these before and after shots of our portable spy scope. It actually works quite well, and depending on the binoculars you have and the actual optics in your cell phone, you'll get varying results. And that's how to build a portable spy scope using your cell phone camera. Now, with any device that captures video or pictures, be sure to use this responsibly. And we'll see you next time with another weekend project. <laughs>